Hello everyone, welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Today on The Kitchen Table, I'm gonna be looking at a very interesting mod for the Phantom 2. Hooray, I hear all you Phantom 2 and Vision Plus owners cry. He hasn't forgotten us, no I haven't. Uh, when things come through for me to look at for the, for the Phantom 2, I'm more than happy to give them a whirl. Or in this case, maybe give them away to give you a whirl at them. But before we go any further, that we better discuss the beverage. Um, uh, on the coffee, I'm having a bit of a session of these today. Get a few vids out, so um, I'm, I'm knocking back the caffeine. It's home roasted Guatemala, being drunk as a very long Americano. So, cheers, everyone. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, lovely. Now, one of the things that um, we know about the Phantom Two, great uh, little thing that it is, in um, is that. One of the issues that they really fixed and people cheered about with the P3 was the ability to change the Expo on the Yaw setting, that left stick that means that instead of having to really, really struggle to get a slow, smooth pan, you can dial down the sensitivity on the Phantom 3 via the app and have a really lazy pirouette and therefore get a really smooth, more cinematic, more film-like pan, much less jerkiness, and it's going to keep everything nice and smooth. The P2 and the Vision Plus, they didn't have this. And there's been, I've done videos on how you can maybe try and do it. People have come up with little gadgets that you can fit. People have also been sort of, uh, there's, there's instructional videos how you can take the back off your transmitter and solder in various, um, various trim potentiometers to change the, the voltage and so on and so forth. Um, all of which is fine and they do work, but it's a lot of you know, you need to kind of feel very comfortable, you know what you're doing, there's a lot of soldering involved, you have to source the parts. Anyway, a company called YourMod, that's, that's Y-A-W-M-O-D dot com, uh, dropped me a line and said, we've got something we'd like to send to you, um, would you like to take a look at it? And this is it, it is called the YourMod. Uh, and what's very nice about it is that basically all it involves to fit this, if you want to just fit the basic system and have you know, a much slower pan, is you need to drill a small hole in your transmitter somewhere to poke this bit through. Uh, uh, and that's it really, because they have, they've designed this little circuit board here, which you can clip into your existing, um, uh, there's an adapter here to go into the uh, existing electronics inside the transmitter, no soldering required. Uh, and then you plug this in, and then what this does, it's a three-way switch. You see they've marked it here, off, middle. So in the off position, it's 100% the standard yaw rate. In the middle position, you get a sort of a medium slow, and in the upper position, you get the slowest yaw rate. Um, and if you do want to do a bit of soldering, this is purely optional. There's a little pigtail wire here with two little cables on the end. If you solder that onto the, um, the main uh, circuit board of your transmitter inside to get power, then what's really nice is that there's a little LED embedded in the top of the toggle switch and that will change color to tell you what mode you're in. But again, that's purely optional and it doesn't affect it. So, um, what I want to do is, as you know, uh, when it comes to modding and soldering and, and doing things to transmitter and antennas and all that stuff, I've done them before, uh, a long time ago with my original vision. And so uh, I like to let people who haven't done it have a go and give us genuine feedback on how easy or difficult it was to do it. Um, uh, so what I like to do is give one of these away. Now the Your Mod Kit is $49 with free shipping worldwide. Um, various things I like about it. The quality is exceptional. This is a Japanese made switch. We are not talking parts that are come from, you know, a Chinese wholesaler um, uh, at the cheapest possible price. This is a real quality switch with the LED embedded in. This has all been made by them. They've done some beautiful braiding on the outside here to keep the wiring loom tidy. Uh, even gone to the, uh, no need to do it, but even put a little, you know, their own little logo on it and just made it really neat. The circuit board they've made themselves and it's used, it uses high accuracy resistors, there's little surface mount resistors there. They haven't gone for the potentiometer route because they felt that they weren't accurate enough. These are accurate to 0.1%. So you're going to get an extremely consistent, smooth, um, smooth pan using these. Nice board, all made by them. Uh, just the quality was, was really nice. Um, and it's $49. So what I'd like to do is I would like to offer this to anybody who would like to see um, a, a smoother pan with their 
Phantom 2 or Phantom 2 Vision Plus and any of the transmitters. It doesn't matter whether you've got the version 2 with the shoulder tilt wheel or the original one. This will work with anything that works with a Phantom 2. Um, full installation instructions are available from the website. Um, but I would like to send this to anybody who is prepared to have a go and drill a little hole in their transmitter and see if it's genuinely both easy to do as the manufacturers claim and whether you're happy with the the two rates of slower yaw that you get. So if you would like to do that, it's very simple. All you need to do is uh, drop a comment. I'm gonna run this until the uh, until New Year's Day, 1st of January, so um, just over a week's time. Um, uh, and just put a comment down below saying that you would like to test this out. And the only thing that I ask in return is that you do document it with some pictures or preferably a video. Uh, I will link to that. I, if you've already got a channel, I'm very happy to link that. But I want you to test it. Uh, yeah, the only proviso is you haven't got, you haven't uh, had to have done any mods on your Phantom 2 transmitter. If you've already had it, had it opened and you've done some antenna mods or you've done some other tweaks, then please don't enter. I'd like somebody genuinely who hasn't to see if this $49 uh, mod gives uh, gives you what you want with a P2, which is a much more cinematically useful slow pan, a slow yaw. So yeah, details below in the comments. Leave me a comment, uh, explain that you'd like to test it and that you've got a P2 that's been uh, unmodified and you wanna have a go. And I will send one of these out and you can let us all know whether it works for you. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to find out more, yourmod.com, uh, Y-A-W-M-O-D.com is where you can find this rather well put together piece of kit. I hope that was useful to you, if, particularly if you're running a P2 and you've been frustrated by that inability to get a smooth, slow yaw near the center, center part of the stick. This might be um, hopefully something that can, can fix that with the minimum of fuss and not too, get, not, you don't have to get too close to a soldering iron unless you want to have the illuminated LED front. There we go. Many thanks for watching. Uh, I will catch you again soon I'm back on the kitchen table. Please do drop a comment and enter if you want to, and I'll get this sent out to you in the early part of the new year. Other than that, uh, I hope you found it interesting, and I will see you soon back on the kitchen table. Until then, cheers.